There's an amazing ecosystem of developers, of uh, creativity, of just inspiration right now coming out of the PlayStation camp. People are just flocking to PlayStation because uh, they see an easy path to get their idea in front of gamers. And so uh, it's just attracting a lot of attention, a lot of excitement, a lot of passion. And this is where things are happening right now. With some mobile platforms, you know, we had to like make concessions to really awful phones out there. And making games for the Vita is just so much easier where we know exactly what's going on with them. Super easy and wonderful. <laughs> the Vita is a wonderful device that really fills a gap in the handheld market. It has a whole ton of stuff behind the scenes that really lets you do other crazy stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to do. I like the idea of a dedicated device. As a gamer, I just like that the PlayStation Vita isn't trying to be anything else. It means that I can create very complex interactions and a lot of depth to the game. And then all the network stuff allows me to allow players to share stuff and build stuff together, which is very cool. The PlayStation Vita has all kinds of features that sort of enhance the experience. The multiplayer is a great way to just have fun with friends, where each person who's playing has control of their own screen. Playing on Vita is one of the like main ways for me to play now. Just laying in my bed with a screen, you know, right here, and it just feels great. We looked at the Vita and thought, what can we do to make this device sing? Tuning the controls to feel as silky smooth as possible, and that's what Velocity is all about. It's about the feel of the game and, and mastering those mechanics. It's a great fit for our game because we have lots of real-time shadows, which requires quite a lot of visual processing. When you combine the beautiful shadows that we've got with the, the crisp screen that the Vita's got, then you've, you've got this incredibly beautiful thing that just begs to be played. Something about that screen that just makes it look so special, and to us to see the amount of love and work and dedication poured into this game on that Vita screen, it's just the best way for us to show the game. It, it just seems like it just comes to life there. As an indie, there's a fear that you're not interesting to a console manufacturer, because we make little games um, with a kind of a very niche audience. But Sony realized that we can actually target our audience, and we can bring out games that do pretty well on the platform, and that we have a value in doing so. Well, I think it's obvious that the Sony team have got a great passion for games, and this isn't something that they've just discovered, they've, they've always been passionate. They want to support first, and they want to try and, and help developers realize their vision properly. There's a shared goal there, and everyone, if we can work together, we can create some great things together.